All right, I wanted to take a quick look and see if there's any big difference between half wave resonant L1 and a quarter wave resonant L1. So here I have my half wave uh, coil uh, in that the L2, and I've just switched to a single L2 at this point, the L2 is 50 feet in length. This L1 is 25 feet in length. And this L1 over here is 12 and a half feet in length. So let's hook them up, see if we still get the trumpet wave and take a look at what's going on. Okay, let's start with the half wave resonant uh, coil, the yellow one, as we've seen before. Uh, driver configuration on the L1 is the same, five time picofarad uh, capacitors in series parallel. Right now I will be using the gate driver IC um, here we have the 20 microfarad uh, co collection capacitor. Still have a ground shunt set up with the rheostat and capacitor in parallel. And right now I have it set on the lower end. Um, no big deal there. And right now we're just using the one coil um, to see kind of what we get. Um, I have the gate driver I see set at 20, 20 volts at the moment. And with this configuration, We'll have to kind of play around with this a little bit, just running at 2.1 megahertz to generally see what we what we get. So let me short out the capacitor. And from a timing perspective, Get about 650 milliseconds to get up to roughly around 66 volts. And I know I can increase the voltage that we've seen before because this band is still kind of there. If I go up in frequency, 22, I can increase the voltage, it already increased. But as we've seen before, the time it takes is a little bit longer. But still seeing the trumpet wave as we would suspect. Okay, now I have the quarter wave resonant coil, so the 12 and a half foot coil, the red one. Still same configuration as before. And well, it's kind of interesting what I'm seeing. So I, I guess I have the coil right now kind of positioned dead center in the L2. I'm running at 2.2 megahertz and if I short it out you can already see a couple interesting things going on one I'm almost seeing that double trumpet wave profile as I was seeing before which is which is quite weird because I only have one coil connected it's the voltage is much much higher um, up at around 100 volts or, or so and if I come in and I take a look at the timing, before we were at 650 milliseconds, but now I'm at 815 milliseconds. But again, since the, the coil itself is kind of smaller, it changes around the capacitance and the coupling uh, between the two uh, coils, the L1 and the L2. But it's interesting to already see such a dramatic and big effect just from changing the L2. Now, one other big difference, I guess, and this is more of just a physical construction matter. Um, this is about 23 turns or so uh, for the half wave resonant, and it's almost as wide as the L2 coil. The quarter wave resonant L2 one is much smaller in width. It's only about 11 turns and that gives a lot of freedom to actually slide the coil back and forth inside the L2. So let's take a look at what happens when we when we do this. Okay so right now I have the L1 slid as far to the right as I currently can and if I short out the capacitor you can see everything has changed quite quite dramatically. And that's still at the 2.2 megahertz. If I lower this down to let's say 
one megahertz. Let me short her out again and see what happens. Much quicker um, ramp up, still the Trump away profile, but ultimately has a way lower voltage at about 20 volts. So let's see what happens when I slide it completely to the other side. Okay, now I have the L1 slid inside the L2 completely to the left side, is about as far as I can go um, with this construction. And still at 2.1 megahertz, but as you can see, the pink, which is the L2 voltage, is already much higher. And if I short it out, again, I get that really high vinyl voltage and I get that two-stepped type of approach, which is interesting. If I change, let's go down to 2 megahertz and just see kind of what happens. Much smoother profile, not as high a high voltage as we've seen before, but actually ramps up pretty quickly. Let me just measure that real quick. So 465 milliseconds to go up to 85 volts. So actually it looks that the quarter wave resonant uh, coil is, as you would expect, providing, let's say, slightly higher final voltage, as well as a quicker ramp up, and that could be due to um, the additional current and the lower resistance of the coil itself. We're still drawing generally um, 70 milliamps at 20 volts, which is which is generally low. Um, but maybe we go forward with the quarter wave resonant L1. For the so I think one last thing to mention here, and it's quite nice. I've now centered the L1 roughly again in the middle of the L2, and I think as we move forward with designing the system around here, a couple things we want to keep an eye out for are not only um, let's say the final voltage, but this kind of gap that we see here, where we're calling this the negative resistance region, very, very much at the top here. I, I suspect that we want to be able to ramp that up pretty quickly, um, keep it as non-linear as possible, as well as get a large gap so we have more of a working range within that region. And I think that's something we're going to kind of keep in mind as we move forward. Now, again, why with this particular setup are we seeing almost this double trumpet wave thing again? I don't know. I think that I'll have to explore that a little bit further. Um, but it might be to the point where we actually decide to lower the collector capacitance. If we can get this very nonlinear region as well as this large, large voltage range um, to work within here. So more to explore, more to learn. You guys have any comments? Uh, always appreciate it, um, but I think here is what we're going to kind of try to take forward as we try to get some useful power out of the system. I'll try to as well keep the power input around here, which if you do the math, that's around 1.6 watts. Um, but if we're able to get anything more than 1.6 watts out of this, I, I think that's quite interesting. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Talk to you again soon.